Mojo would go off the radio at four o'clock in the morning. I would um, like once a week or every day. No, he was on every night. Okay. And except for Fridays, except for Saturdays and Sundays, uh, three o'clock in the morning he mm -hmm. would go off, and I would wait at this delicatessen, this sort of cafe yeah. that he would go to after he finished. But it was not for sure that he would show up. It wasn't always 100% that he was going to come there. I'd never met him before, but I was told that Mojo comes to this place yeah. when he wants to get something to eat after his shows. And how, I, how would you recognize him if you had never met him? Let me finish. Okay, check it sorry. out. Check it out. I'm in this place. I've been told this by the owner. The owner knows that I'm trying to get into the music business. I'm 14, 15 years old at the time, maybe 15. And I'm taking my mother's car when she goes to sleep, and I'm waiting for Mojo in this delicatessen. Four, three o'clock, four o'clock comes in the morning for maybe three weeks. He never shows up. The owner of the place, finally one night, I'm there, I'm playing video games. It's four o'clock in the fucking morning. And I'm waiting, thinking this guy's not gonna come again. And in walks this little dude, you know, with this big jerry curl in his hair, this gigantic mustache. He looks like Super Mario. <laughs> anyway, in walks this guy, and hey man, how are you doing? How's it going? With this voice, you know, this big, gigantic voice out of this little man. And I, I turned around instantly when I heard the voice. And uh, the owner of the place said, hey man, you see this guy, this little kid right here, man? He's been waiting for you to show up here for three weeks, man. You know, and he turns over, uh, oh yeah? Oh, wh what's your name, man? And then we, you know, I told him my name. He said, well, what can I do for you? And I said, well, I've got some music. You've got to hear it. It's my friend. His music is really good. You're going to like, I'm attempting to be a promotion sort of yeah. PR guy. It was Juan Atkins music that I was trying to get to Mojo. At the time, Juan was just making it and didn't know what to do with it. I was not much of a promotions guy. I was only 15, 16 years old. But I managed to make it possible for Juan to meet Mojo. And uh, from that meeting, uh, Juan's music was played on the radio, Alleys of Your Mind. And it, it's all history from there.